Today is Thursday, February 12th, 2015. Idaho high schools may lose their broadband connection as soon as next Sunday. I'm Zach Arnold. And I'm Paul Gorley. Who won the big lottery last night? We'll tell you how it played out. Your CSN News starts now. <laughs> Yesterday, a judge voided Idaho statewide high school broadband contracts. That means that Idaho schools may have to individually replace the state's broadband service. Wednesday's decision also means that the state likely won't pay two providers the more than $4 million in bills that they have built up since the original ruling in November that voided the state's Idaho Education Network contract. The providers have threatened to shut off the broadband service to Idaho's high schools by February 22nd if the state doesn't pay. State officials say keeping broadband in classrooms statewide through June, thir June 30th is the focus and they expect a temporary solution to be in place in the next 10 days. If your plan for going to college was for your parents to win the huge Powerball lottery last night, you're out of luck. The jackpot winning tickets for the fifth largest lottery prize in U.S. history were sold in Texas, North Carolina, and Puerto Rico, according to the Powerball website. At over $515 million, the three winners will split about $400 million before taxes. $16 million were also sold. Carbon dioxide is escaping from the depths of the ocean. Uh, it heralded the end of the last ice age, a study suggests. Its release into the atmosphere drove the shift towards a warmer period, according to scientists at the University of Southampton. The research published in Nature is based on analyzing chemical signals in the shells of ancient plankton. The world's oceans absorb about a third of the atmospheric carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels. Scientists predict that as the oceans warm, their ability to absorb atmospheric carbon dioxide will be reduced, potentially leading to faster global warming. We'll be right back after this. It's flu season once again, but this year you can avoid getting yourself and others sick. It's easy if you remember a few simple things. The single most effective way to prevent the spread of flu is to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Maintaining a three foot distance from those who are sick makes it much more difficult for the flu to be spread. If you're running a fever of 100 degrees or more, you're spreading the flu. Stay home. Even if it's not the flu, you're contagious when you have a high fever. If you wash your hands for 30 seconds, stay three feet away from those who are sick, and stay home when you do get sick, you can help everyone stay well this flu season. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one. Visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 57 with a low of 33, partly sunny. Tomorrow's high is 58 with a low of 35, mostly sunny. Seniors, tonight is the last <coughs> excuse me, opportunity to purchase your Project Grad ticket early for the discounted price of $35 at the boys' basketball game. So if you haven't done so, come out and support your boys and save money on your Project Grad ticket. After tonight, the price will go up to $40. If you have any questions, look up Project Grad on Facebook under Napa High Project Grad 2015. Also, don't forget to bring back goodies and treats, treats to sell at the game. National Honor Society is selling cookies for Valentine's Day. To send a cookie gram to that special someone during third period this Friday, February 13th, find a National Honor Society member during lunch on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday and purchase a cookie gram for $2. You can also buy the cookies during lunch Friday for $1. You could be the next big thing at NHS. The annual NHS talent show is coming up on February 27th at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater, and winners will receive cash prizes. All students are welcome to try out on February 17th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Little Theater. Applications will be available in the office or Mrs. Levi's room, number 201, next week. Stay tuned for that. The deadline to submit your application is Friday. A teen outreach program is doing a donation drive for the St. Luke's Children's Hospital. Please bring your used books and board games and spare change to room number 101 on any A day or the front office on B days by next Tuesday, February 17th. All donations go towards giving the children at the hospital a more enjoyable stay and are greatly appreciated. The speech and debate team has the results back from your True Match survey. You can receive results from the speech and debate team for only $3. They will be selling them during all three lunches in the cafeteria, so get yours today and find your true Valentine. Columbia High School is hosting an NCAA presentation on Monday, March 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. in the library. All student athletes and their parents who are interested in pursuing collegiate athletics are invited to attend. Matt Stewart, Assistant Athletic Director, for academics at Idaho State University, and his team will talk about NCAA eligibility requirements and answer questions. So mark it on your calendar and plan on coming athletes. Today's SAT word of the day is augment, which means to add to, increase. 
You could use it this way. Girls wear makeup to augment their physical beauty. That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Bulldog Edition.